inside my heart. Hi, I'm Eric. Welcome back to yet another project. This time we're going to be working on my virtual pipe organ. This is a salvaged uh, organ console from a church and um, I uh, relieved it of its vintage 1970s, 80s electronics. Sorry I was born in the 70s too, I can say that, all right? Uh, it sounded terrible. Uh, and I replaced that, it, I minified it. So it's got MIDI encoded cards that runs to or, uh, Grand Org on the laptop and it sounds fantastic. So um, the thing is, there's a lot of components in here that need to be replaced that were never really um, done. This is an ongoing project and so I'm taking you along with me. Um, this console doesn't have any lighting. It had original uh, AC120 voltage incandescent bulbs in it for uh, the music stand uh, reflecting upward and downward toward the manuals and pedal board as well. Um, we're going to do away with that AC stuff and um, we're going to put some uh, LEDs in there and I got just the thing for you. So let's check it out. So what are you looking at? I'll tell you what you're looking at. So, yeah, I know you know what you're looking at. So let me tell you something about this. <clears throat> this music stand um, has lighting inside that uh, panel here. That's a like a frosted transparent um, plastic sheet. There's one on the top. There's one on the bottom. And um, what's in there is a, uh, it's kind of cool. It's, it's really old school um, PCB with um, small light bulbs um, soldered into it. Um, kind of neat, kind of want to keep it, but you know, honestly, um, part of this restoration project is making this an efficient instrument. And, you know, um, I'd like to take out all the 120 AC stuff and um, put LEDs in. And so um, that's what we're gonna do. So here's a little closer look at what's inside this um, music stand here. So I got, got some wind storms coming through and uh, it's quite noisy. So this is where the power came in. I just, I just cut that, it came through there. And, um, um, you know, these things seem to be held in by just thumbtacks, so I could just pull those out. Or, or I can leave them and I can paint them all red, green, blue, pink, and yellow, and then set up a timer on them and they can all blink in different sequences. Uh, and then I could just play theater organ music. No, we're not going to do that. So, all right, we'll pull pull these bees out and then uh, on to the next step. These are really easy to get out, just pliers on there, and you know. And then I should see I should see these for a steampunk project. I am totally doing that. I'd hate to cut that wire in that case, but you know, we're not uh, we're not going to do anything special with this right now so we're just going to snip that and um, get that guy out you know i was going to trash this but uh, it might be worth saving might you know if it's 120 volts um we might toss it come on focus focus um I, I got the schematics for this organ, and um, I still have the transformer, the power transformer, um, and I can just kind of verify the voltage of it, and um, sorry, I'm not letting you see anything. We're up, we're getting attacked by the light bulb. So... 
it's out. It's out, I tell you. Okay, I'm going to pull those out. I'm going to show you. I go to show you what I have, okay? Be right back. So I'm going to show you what I got here. What have I got? Well, let me show you. Okay. Well, it's, you know, it's written on the box. Hollywood style vanity lights. Okay. So, yeah, you go into a dressing room and, uh, and you got the lights around the mirror. That's what these are. This is a little kit that I bought. It's so cute. Um, and um, it's just a bunch of these uh, in, in series lights. They're all... Uh, um, adhesive, so I pull those off. I could just line, line them up one after another after another. I got a, uh, I forgot what that's called. It's not a phone jack. Anderson power connector. I don't remember. I have an option of um, plugging this in. Then that, that end goes to the AC adapter. I was going to do that, um, but then I decided against it first. Because I actually have a power switch on the console right there. That one right there. Sorry, just a weird mood today. I've been effing around with my amateur radio stuff and it's been, you know, it's been a royal pain. So um, we're not going to do that um, because I don't need more switches. Um, so what I do have, let me make this nice and tidy for you. You know, maybe I'll get more likes in my videos. Um, so I have a um, power strip mounted to the inside of the console, and I have isolated things connected to that, particularly the 12-volt uh, power uh, supply or uh, wall wart for the MIDI card encoders, um, MIDI encoder cards. And then I have um, something else I can't remember plugged in there. Oh, um, actually what it is is uh, my steampunk um, vacuum tube statue thing. That guy right there, you know, as seen in prior videos, and um, that's just kind of my on light to let me know that the, the organ is on. This will be the third item plugged into that. All I got to do is reach around to the back and flip a switch. And all three of those items go on. So that's what we're going to do. So my next step is to um, separate these. Oh, you know, the good thing about these, and I don't know if it's going to show up. Likely not, because, you know, I got, I'm got using my cheap Android. Yes. Look at that. So each one of these are labeled positive and negative. Perfect. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to likely have to um, lay three or four of those things in one side of this. Um, let's fly over here. Uh, this well here. There's a solid block of wood. A little channel for wiring. Maybe it'll fit. And then there. Next one I'm going to do is run some project wire um, from the back all the way down to the underside of this console under the keyboards to run the rest of those lights and that will light the pedal board and um, then it will be routed all the way up into the power switch which is on that side uh, inside the console. So on to the next step. Okay so I got my Hollywood style vanity lights installed. Uh, that one facing up goes through the upper film and it illuminates the music stand. I didn't have much option for facing down. Um, so that one's sticking to the side uh, and presumably enough light will come down through there and illuminate the keyboard. That was the first channel. And I, was, I didn't have to cut this. Actually, you know what I did? was I unscrewed the back side here and slid that one out and the, the trough is open. I just, you know, slid the wire through there, brought it back there. There's the left side. And then here we go. This is where we are definitely going to have to snip this wire. 
uh, and then I'll solder in my um, um, project wire through that hole and then through that 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 one right there that one right here and then uh, and then again I'll wire it down to the pedal board side so to be continued okay just gonna kind of show you what I got here um, I got uh, these two ends uh, stripped and um, um, you know, I was going to solder, but then I remember later or earlier thinking in this project, I don't want to do any soldering on the console or at the bench anyway. So, um, I, I actually have these things, um, these splicers and hopefully, uh, these crimp connectors will be enough to, um, hold this wire together. So I'm just going to, uh, crimp it onto this project wire. Actually, when I bought it, uh, I was told it was called doorbell wire. It, and um, so uh, we're using doorbell wire uh, in the organ. Hopefully that won't be a problem. Okay, I got all these lights mounted in here and uh, hopefully that'll be okay. I got my crimp connectors. The doorbell wire connected to that, and uh, this just goes back on like that. And then I've got a little itty, itty bitty uh, screw to go in there. That is the hole. All right, easy as pie. So now that's wired. Now uh, to to route the doorbell wire through uh, the hole. Okay, we are inside the organ. Um, there's the hole where the doorbell um, wire comes through, um, and uh, there is actually a slight crevice through here on the side where I can <clears throat> feed the wire down through to the um, um, the other strip that I'm going to wire through there. These are the original um, plates. Um, I guess I could have reused this wiring. <clears throat> um, they're they're um, um, recessed lighting on the underside of the um, keyboards, the manuals, um, to shine down onto the pedals. Um, those are also high voltage <clears throat> and um, a relatively uh, and AC, I believe. So we're just going to keep on with our uh, LED lighting. And while, while we're here, um, <clears throat> give you a tour. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever. So <clears throat> I, have, I have one power strip uh, down here. That powers the stereo system and um, the laptop computer uh, that has the um, grand org on there. And then this side here, uh, hopefully you can see that. Um, you're inside my organ. Um, <clears throat> those are the MIDI encoder cards. And then this is the power strip uh, that illuminates or that powers the MIDI. And then this is the steampunk lamp. And then I'll have third prong here for the um, um, what are we doing again we're doing the lighting for the keyboards and the pedals so there you go hey not what ex not what you expected either all right so this is what we're gonna do so you're down with me down in the pedal well um, this is how I did it there are the crimp connectors that's gonna have that wire come up Feed these all along, yeah. Uh, I might have a shadow from this lip here, but you know, there wasn't much I could do with that. Um, maybe if I put more time in my projects, I could probably figure that out. Then we're gonna cut that there, because this this baby right here is gonna go to the AC adapter. So uh, that's what we're gonna do, okay? All right, here we are back in the underbelly, down in the pedal well. That's crimped, ran on 
back. That's the side that goes up to the, um, the music stand. And then that's crimped and goes up to toward the power source. Okay, we're back inside my organ. Stop saying that, will ya? Okay, so we got the doorbell wire coming through. Got lots of it. Uh, I'm just going to route it over to um, the power cord here. I kind of thought, well, do I want to extend this down or extend this over? I'm just going to extend this over and um, run it up to here. And then uh, the next step I'd like to do is, is kind of reroute all these uh, these speaker wires and stuff. But, um, you know, I'll do that tomorrow. So, um, so what I'm going to do is just kind of like uh, get my basic wire measurement here. And um, I'm going to cut that right here. Speaker wire. I got lots of speakers in this thing. Not all of them work. Down here. Okay, and not to do that. We should have light. Okay, dokie. Now for the final, uh, final stage, and, and that's to test it. So let's see. So what we did just before, you know, you know, to build it up in case I screw it up, is we put um, we put lighting up on the music stand uh, that faces up towards the sheet music. And then lighting that faces down onto the manuals. And then we also put uh, lighting along um, underneath the manuals, illuminating the pedal board. So let's see if it works. And it did. Awesome. Now I can play with better light in the evenings. Uh, as you can tell, I don't have good lighting around here, so very cool. It's so Hollywood. Uh, yeah, anyway, sorry about that. So it's Hollywood stylized lighting. That's what it's called. So there we go. I'll get you a nice final photo when, when it's all pushed back against the wall and set up. So thanks for enduring with me on this virtual pipe organ project where we lovingly adorn my console with some light. I'm glad it actually worked. So I thought maybe I'll play a little something for you just for hanging in there with me.